Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to adjust Schwinn Joyrider straps. This will be a super easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. This right here is my Schwinn Joyrider double bike trailer, okay? My wife and I use this all the time, we love it. I just actually finished filming a video review of the product, and I figured that I should do a tutorial on it as well. So I'm just gonna flip my screen out so I can see what you all see, and I'm gonna show you how to adjust these straps. There are essentially three adjustments that you can make, three types of adjustments that you can make for each set of straps. So I'm gonna go over just just, you know, one of them over here, and I'll show you the three adjustments. So which ones can you see? Let's see. Okay, perfect. So with regards to the middle, uh, the middle lower buckles over here, okay? So there are three of them, because you can use two, like, like this for two kids, or like this for one kid in the middle. It all depends. But basically, what you want to do <clears throat> is you want to look over here. There's a little bit of a, hopefully you can see this. I'm trying to get the best lighting I can. So if you look over here, you can see there's a little bit of a buckle. And you can feed this part through the buckle. So I'm going to feed this through the buckle, okay, which makes it poke out over here in the middle, right here. And I'm going to can basically just feed it through onto the top. So I can then go and pull it through on the top. So I can pull it through over here, close to the actual part that clips into place. So essentially we are feeding the strap through the buckle from one location to the other. I'm going from bottom to the top over here. Now alternatively, you can go from top to bottom. One will shorten it, one will lengthen it, okay? That's the idea, so that's one adjustment. The next adjustment is the height of the shoulder straps. Which one is in better lighting? Over here, perfect. So the height of the shoulder straps, okay? So essentially, the height of the shoulder straps as you can see right there that's a that's pretty good same thing there is a part of the strap at the front hanging loose and a part of a strap at the back that's attached to like you know the, the clip over here okay essentially you want to use the buckle and you want to either feed more strap to the front or feed more strap to the back so let's say I wanted to tighten this I would feed more strap to the front so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna push the strap from the back through the buckle okay and then I'm gonna pull it in the front now I pulled it in the front, I made it a little bit tighter. Alternatively, I could feed it to the back and that would make it looser. The third adjustment is the same thing, but it's the side buckle. So this is the side part over here, the side lower that controls sort of the uh, waist level over here, okay, around the waist. And essentially it's the same thing, you have the strap hanging at the front and then a strap attached at the back, okay? The loose strap at the front and, and a longer strap attached at the back. One can be uh, shorter and longer, it all depends on what length you have it set to. But essentially a loose strap at the front and an attached strap at the back. If you want to make this short Shorter or tighter, you feed the strap from the attached part at the back through the buckle. So I'm feeding it through the buckle, okay? Once I have fed it through the buckle, give me one second over here, I'm gonna pull it through the front. Now this is double looped, so if I wanted to tighten it, I would feed it through the buckle and it's double looped. So I'm gonna basically just pull both loops up, okay? Like this, and bring it around, and then I'm gonna pull it over here. So I'm pulling it at the front, I fed more to the front. Now I tighten that up. Now, because this is already set for um, my, um, my daughters uh, that ride it, my, I have twin daughters, so they ride side by side in this, uh, I'm going to put it back to the way that it was, just so it's clear why I'm putting it back. But that is essentially it. That is how to adjust these straps. Now this one is, like I said, it's a little bit more difficult because it is um, double looped, but almost got it, just a little bit more pull and we should be good. Um, I'm gonna do this off camera. You don't need to see me uh, working my way through this. But essentially, that's how to make those adjustments. Really, really easy to do uh, for the Schwinn Joyrider bike trailer or bike carrier. In this case, this is the double bike trailer, double bike carrier, but it's gonna be the same thing for, you know, the other types of joyriders. It's gonna be, and the other types of bike carriers, it's gonna be very, very similar. But that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.